So, whatever you eat from this point on, if you drink this, you're healthy. Nothing is better than starting off your day with a fresh veggie fruit juice. Alright guys, yesterday when I was recording, I was mostly at home. So today I just want to take a time out and then come outside in the wild nature of Hawaii. Currently I'm in the east coast. No, west coast of uh, Oahu. I don't usually come around here because uh, it's very far away from the south where I live. Honestly, this is the this is the spot to come if you really want to see like beautiful ocean and beaches with like nobody around, no tourists around. This is the place to come. Check it out. It's honestly a little bit dangerous to be even standing up here but water is like really clear and you can see that this is not a safe spot to uh, be around you gotta be really careful the west side is probably one of the least known parts of the island where rarely visited by tourists and uh, they're actually I've heard about it but I actually saw them uh, building a railroad monorail or something down there so they're doing a lot of construction uh, and the monorail is supposed to take people here all the way to the city the center part of the city to Honolulu so I don't know if that's gonna be completed but if that ever gets completed that's gonna be a I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be visiting here oh what <laughs> wait hold on I just found some some fish look at the poor thing what happened to him he was just on this rocky part I really like checking out inside of this leftover water. There are sometimes fish in there. There are fishes, small fishes. I've been avoiding to come to the west side though of the island because uh, the view is one of the nicest on the island. Beaches are stunning and uh, the, this side of the island is not very safe. On the way to here, I will see cars street parked with broken windows, with no wheels. It's very sketchy part of the island, I must say. Yeah, based on the height of the wave and then how windy it is, I don't think this is a good spot to swim, but it's nice. The rocks here are extremely sharp though. You gotta be really careful. And the waves are strong, so you can't go to the edge because you might be sucked in right in. So something was poking me right here on my thumb. I kept thinking that I was stepping on a rock or something but it turns out that there's a huge hole over here and then there was this super sharp, I don't know, a teeth or some kind of plant that was stinging my uh, thumb over and over. Do you see how sharp this is? Look, look how sharp these uh, rocks are. I'm having a difficult time standing up here reason why I came to this beach is because this is called Mermaid Beach because you can literally go down there you get to experience like a mermaid world basically literally so you can go see through the, the water and then the entrance is all the way back there where people are and that's ah! the rocks here are so sharp you know so yeah you can actually go down to the cave and then see inside but since I'm a one-man team and then with all these gears I have with me, I don't think I'm gonna risk it. So the idea was to get the drone up and have the drone go down this cave 
but quickly realized that if I do that, that'll be my last time of seeing the drone. So, scratch that plan. You see how beautiful it is down there? The clear water. And uh, this is the place where we actually go down. Look. We can go down from there. I mean, I really want to go down there, but I don't know how to get back right up if I do fall inside. You know what? I think I'm gonna go inside. Wish me good luck. Climbing back up wasn't easy. Minor injury on my finger. That was a uh, that was pretty cool. I wish the tide was a little bit lower so that you can go walk all the way out. And then it's a good idea to come with someone other than by yourself. I don't know with all these graveyards by the beach, doesn't look too safe. There are people fishing by the shore there too. I'm sure it's not too safe. So unless you're local, probably not recommend it. I mean, the cave wasn't that hard to climb out of, but I was just getting freaked out because if I don't, if I can't get out of there, there were nobody around, so you know what I mean? The reason why I don't come on the west coast is, is that because uh, there, there are a lot of homeless people here and uh, they frequently break into cars and steal your stuff, so it's not the safest area, it's actually a little pretty ghetto. One of the most ghetto areas probably on the island. So. so if you do happen to visit here, make sure to leave nothing behind in the cars and just be careful. Well, that was pretty fun. I'm gonna now get going and go home now. I'm gonna keep exploring more next time. Now I'm gonna quickly jump back home. See you guys there. All right, I stopped by at Diamond Heads Grill for dinner. This is where I grew up eating my dinners, where I got my lunch plates. This place is pretty good. Yo, what happened to that car? What happened to it? That's crazy. Well, while there are plenty of uh, places where you can get a plate food like that, uh, but top three in the area by Diamond Head, the popular ones are Diamond Head Grill, Pioneer Saloon, and uh, the most famous one is uh, Rainbow Drive. I decided to just simply go with a uh, my childhood's favorite place, Diamond Head Grill. Of course, they're sitting outside, so you can eat right outside. But what I like to do is, uh, I'll show you guys. So what I like to do is come by Diamond Head by the shore, and by over, from the place where you can park your car overlooking the the beach and the sunset. It's especially nice during the sunset time, and eat here. That's my favorite things to do. Check out the view though, like that. It's gonna be really really beautiful so let's just wait till the sunset. Today I just decided to go with my all-time favorite mixed plate. It's got chicken, hamburg, salad and brown rice. This is the best in my opinion. Mmm it's so good. Mmm look at this piece. It's just so good. Hamburg is so good. This one's also really good. Mm. 
this is it. But what makes this experience the best is the view, so enjoy the view. Now. I don't know what's wrong with my drum, but the app kept crashing and then battery was very very low So I was trying to land it where I started, but it, it kept trying to land at a different lo Location and it would never listen and guess where it went right there Not too bad only a couple feet away. I don't know about these drums like a lot of times when you are at low battery when you still have like 10% battery it tries to like force landing so basically, it will land wherever <laughs> it wants to. It will just keep going down. It happened to me once and uh, luckily I was okay. But you know, it's only a matter of time until I lose one of these drones. All right, I think that's a wrap. I'll see you guys at home. Four miles of gasoline left. Whew. Made it to a uh, gas station. That was pretty close. That was a long drive, that's why. Woo, I'm back! That was a long trip, longer than I expected. Oh, I was so busy filming, I couldn't finish eating the food. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video because yesterday's video was like a super chill video and today I just wanted to do something that was uh, more adventurous, you know? Anyways, that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video because, because yesterday's video was more of a chill, relaxing, hangout video. And today, I just wanted to do something that was uh, more adventurous, you know? Honestly, doing everything by myself, it was quite hectic. Especially given that I actually have not been to the beach, the particular one that I went to today, ever. So, I didn't know anything. There were some accidents, some minor injuries, <laughs> but I made it home, so so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below if you liked today's video or not. So yeah, with that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!